Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is all about you, Pisces. That's right, this is your June 2020 career and finance reading. We have three piles here. Pile number one is represented by a beauty druzy. Pile number two is represented by a gypsum rosette. And pile number three is represented by a piece of peacock ore. So go ahead and choose which pile resonates with you. And while you're doing that, I'm going to take this moment to ask that if you like these readings, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon so you can be notified of when I upload. And most definitely, leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing. I love talking with you guys. All right, well, let's get started. Pile number one, two, and three. If you need a bit more time, go ahead and pause that video. And here we go. All right. Pisces, pile number one. My beautiful, beauty druzy Pisces. Let's see what your career and finances have in store for you for June of 2020. Sea storm number 32, calm amid chaos. It's hard to stay calm when there's chaos raging, but if you can do that, well, that's an asset to any company. Number 10, Eclipse Mermaid, a powerful energy shift. Well, that's good. Let's see what is going on with you, Pisces. The Six of Swords, you're moving to a healing place. You're moving from this rough, you know, storm-tossed sea into calmer waters. So that is good. You're, you're going to find the calm amidst all the chaos. Well, all right, you're healing and you're celebrating. The Three of Cups speaks of celebration. In this deck, this can be feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but mostly I feel like you're healing, you're moving forward, and you're celebrating. You've got the world coming your way, pile number one. And your outcome card is the Six of Pentacles. This is a solid give and take relationship or job. This is a job that makes sure that you have everything you need for the future in order to succeed. This is beautiful. All right, so what is coming in for your career and finances? Pile number one, my beautiful beauty, Druzy Pisceans. Well, try and stay calm if there's a bunch of chaos going on because you're going through a powerful energy shift. There is going to be a celebration coming in. You're going to wind up getting the king, the keys to the kingdom, whatever that means. Um, and you're going to wind up with this solid financial situation that you're going to be able to depend on. For those of you looking for a job, you're starting to find better you're starting to like find jobs that are more what you're looking for you're going to be able to celebrate because you're going to get the job the exact job that you want and it's going to be a good one that is going to allow balance um but first you have to go through this this sort of healing process you have to go through this movement of like this may be you like Maybe you got fired from your last job and you were really down on yourself about it. And this is you going, no, it wasn't my fault. No, I did the best I could. Those people give me unrealistic expectations to work with. Um, and this, you has you, the, this then has you moving forward and celebrating you and turning your life into what you want it to be so that it's fair and balanced for yourself and everything that you want for your future. Um, maybe there's a job that's kind of helping you heal in a way. It could be that you, you finally got a job that has medical and you're able to, to get the um, medicine that you need or the, the doctor's visits that you need. Um, so this job means the world to you and you mean the world to them too, just so you know. Um, and there's a powerful energy shift coming because they're going to let you know that you mean the world to them. And they're going to let you know just how much 
they appreciate all that you do for them. Um, for those looking for work, again, things are moving into calmer waters. You're going to be able to find a job now. Um, so when you get that job, take some time to celebrate. Your world is about to be much better and more balanced. You've made a powerful shift. Um, you took the time out to do this, this healing of some kind or this moving forward of some kind. So make sure you celebrate yourself because you're gorgeous, Pisces, and you're amazing for going through all of that and changing things so massively. I mean, like, that's a massive change. That is a massive energy shift. And it's because you guys are just so beautiful and amazing. And it's going to get so much better. I guarantee it. I love you guys. Bye. All right. Pisces pile number two. My gorgeous gypsum rosette Pisceans. Let's see what June 2020 is bringing in for your career and finances. Number 42, ghosts of the past. The past returns for a time. Um, this could be somebody you worked with. This could be going back to an old job you had. This could be an old bill coming up to haunt you. 41, powerful personal growth, Nautilus princess. Well, all right. So the past is coming back for a time in order to give you some powerful personal growth. That's because the Wheel of Fortune is changing in your favor. Someone is coming back to give you a gift from the universe because you've done the work. You've done what you needed to do. <laughs> the Six of Cups, the past is coming back. Someone from the past, a job from the past, a bill from the past. Something from the past is coming back. Like this is you, a bill from the past is coming up and when you call about it, they're like, wow, not only did you already pay that bill, but you overpaid that bill, so we're going to credit you this much money. Um, yeah, the three of wands, your ships are coming in. Your story is beginning. Things are changing for you. Something from your past is coming back up, and it's, it's bringing change in a good way in your direction that leads you to emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. Very happy. All right, that is powerful personal growth. So there's something from the past coming back. This could be a job. This could be a coworker. Again, this could be a bill coming back. But there's something coming back from the past. And, and change is coming with it. A change that's going to bring things coming in your favor. That's going to bring happiness your way. If you're looking for a new job, you're getting a new job. And you're going to get a new job in a... Um, position or a company or a career field you never thought you could do something that you always wanted to do since you were little but now you get the opportunity to do it and it brings you a lot of happiness for those of you already in a career already in a job the, you're getting a gift from the universe there is something from the past maybe there's a car that you wanted that you didn't think you'd ever be able to afford well guess what that's your company car um, but things are moving in your favor Things are going in your favor. You will be happy. There is happiness assured here for the month of June because you're ta you've taken the time out to do this growth and this ghost of the past that's coming back. It's not coming back to haunt you. It's coming back to gift you something. It's coming back to let you know that you deserve happiness and you're going to get it. And that is what I have for you, you gorgeous gypsum rosette Pisceans. You guys are beautiful and amazing, and I love you, and I'm so grateful for you. And I hope that June of 2020 brings you everything you gorgeous Pisceans deserve. Bye, guys. All right, pile number three. My beautiful peacock or people. All right, let's see what June 2020 has in store for you, Pisceans for your career and finances. We have number 30, Two Little Witches, Magical Space Clearing Time. Well, they, they could be telling you to um, clear out your house, clear out your closets, and sell the stuff that you don't need on eBay or one of those second, um, you know, reseller websites. Storm Angel, number 35, Collision of Beliefs, Styles, Attitudes, and Energies. Okay, and number nine, three witchy sisters, the power of three. All right, 
So for your career field, for your career in finances, you may need to balance your checkbook or balance your bank account because you and your bank have different numbers. And when you go to balance it, you're going to find that um, they didn't give you the right number. And when you get, when you figure that out and you give them a call, it, it you know, things get credited in your favor. Whereas before you just wouldn't have noticed it. So good for you. Um, some of you also just need to, to clear out your space because when you're clearing out your space, it's going to, I know this is storm angel collisions of beliefs, dad, but it's going to almost spark the energy in you to power through something. We have the Five of Wands, speaking of conflict or conflict resolution. These guys are about to fight each other. But if someone in the group steps forward and mediates, they may not fight at all. The Nine of Wands speaks of feeling a little guarded, feeling wounded, feeling like you've been handed a raw deal and you're not going to, you know, you already feel like something is coming after you. So you're not going to poke the bear. The Eight of Cups has you walking away from something that isn't serving you anymore. The Moon card has you getting in touch with your shadow side. This has you sort of understanding yourself completely your whole self where you want to go what you want to do what you want to be this is you coming into contact with who you are as a person and how you fit into this world this is you trusting your intuition so for some of you it's very possible that there's a lot of conflict at a job and you hate the job anyway so you're walking away from it you're trusting your intuition because you have a lot more options than you thought you did at first um so some of you are tired of this conflict and your magical space clearing time. Um, some of you are bosses and you're going to be firing people that are constantly causing conflict because you don't want it in your, you don't want it in your place of business. You're walking away from that drama, from that conflict, because you know intuitively that you deserve better and there are better options out there and you're going to find them. Um, for those of you that are not firing someone that that did not speak to, there is, um, yeah, there's conflict going on at your job and you're getting tired of it. It's something that happens so often that you're constantly on guard for it. And this has you walking away, either walking away from that job or just saying, I'm walking away from the conflict. Don't involve me anymore. I don't want anything to do with that anymore. I'm done. And, you know, saging your cubicle. Um, this has you just saying, that's it. No more. No more negative energy. No more negativity. No more fighting. No more fussing. No more. No more. I'm done. And um, trusting your intuition because walking away from that is going to open up options. Perhaps your boss is seeing all of this scuffle, all of this fighting, all of this crap. And they've also seen you walking away. They've also seen you saying, no, that's, that's wrong and I, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to take part in that. And um, they're going to reward you for that by the power of three. What you put out there, you get threefold. Um, some of you Pisceans have had a lot of conflict trying to find a job. You're feeling a little bit wounded and guarded. You're not sure where to turn. You feel like just giving up. Um, but don't trust your instincts, trust your in intuitions. You have a lot more options than you think you do. There may be something that you're not quite seeing. Um, go through and look through all of your applications that you've sent out, look through all of your emails because there may be an email stuck in your spam box that um, that is offering you a job um, because you have options you're not seeing right now or you have options, more options than you thought you had. So trust your intuition. Walk away from anything that is conflict-related that could make you feel just hurt in any way, shape, or form. Um, because walking away from that conflict is going to be noticed and it's going to bring you growth. Um, for those looking for a job, you're having a hard time finding one. Um, you know, don't give up. 
trust your instincts. There are options you're not seeing right now. Perhaps there are a few more job apps you need to download that can help out because I know there are some employers that will post on some of those, but not all. Like they'll post on Glassdoor, but not um, Monster or, you know, something like that. Um, some of you are having conflict at work and you're hurt and you're actually walking away from a personal relationship, a personal friendship at work. And you're trusting your intuition that that's going to open up some options for you in other ways. And it will. Um, you get back what you put in threefold. You have, this could also be you clearing the space, meaning clearing your chest. This could be you saying, look, I'm tired of the conflict. I'm tired of you guys fighting all the time. If you guys can't find a way to work together, I'm out of here. I don't deserve your crap. I'm tired of dealing with you guys fighting all the time. I'm tired of having to play mom. So you trust your intuition and you tell them that and it opens up options. They're like, okay, well, what can we do? And you guys brainstorm together to work things out. Um, for others of you, you're absolutely just hating your job. You're hating your job. It's conflict all the time. It's misery all the time. You're tired of it. It's not working for you anymore. You're walking away. You're beginning something new that you never thought you could possibly do, but you have a lot of options open toward you. So trust your intuition. Stay away from this conflict. And um, whatever you put out, know that you're going to get back times three. You're going to be beautiful. <coughs> and that's what I have for you. Pile number three, my gorgeous peacock or P Pisces. Ooh. Pile number three, my gorgeous peacock or Pisces. Wow, that was hard to say. All right, well, I hope you guys have a lovely June, and I hope only good things come your way. I love you guys. Bye. For those wondering what cards we used, we used the Oracle of Shadows and Light by Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And for the cards, the tarot cards, we used Tarot of Haunted House by Sasha Graham and Mirko Pier Federici. And I love both of these decks very, very much. Highly recommend. Bye, guys.